your question is express each of the functions in the form of a x plus b whole square plus c where a b and c are constants and hence state the range what they have given fx is equal to 3x square minus 10x plus 2 for x belongs to your real number now we have already learned squaring method so from that we will find out this value so you can see here minus is there that means we will make a minus b whole square a minus b whole square for that what we have to do just here we have to take 3 as common just solve this first so 3 as common so here it will come x square minus 10 by 3x plus 2 this way now you can see minus is here so what we have to do we have to make it a minus b whole square so here we will make a minus b whole square minus b square and here they have written 3 so that also we will write here 3 plus 2 this way now if you compare this a that means a square is nothing but your x square therefore we can say a is x now comes to this part minus 10 by 3x that means your minus 2ab is equal to minus 10 by 3x a is x so we will cut it minus and minus gone so what is your b so we can say b is 10 by 6 that means what 5 by 3 b is 5 by 3 now substitute this value here what we will get here we will get 3 a minus a means x minus 5 by 3 whole square minus b square that means 25 by 9 plus 2 here if you see this now we have to take out this outside so here it will come what 3 and x minus 5 by 3 4 square and this is what 3 into 25 by 9 that means 25 by 3 will come why means 3 and 9 will go out so it will come as minus 25 by 3 plus 2. Now take the LCM. So LCM is 3. And here it will come minus 25 plus 6. That is equal to minus 19. So here it will come as x minus 5 by 3 whole square minus this therefore we can say it's nothing but your 3 x minus 5 by 3 whole square minus 19 by 3 now so this is nothing but your fx so fx means just we will take it as y y now the coordinate this is nothing from here we will derive our vertex coordinates so here it is positive that means we will get a minimum point therefore minimum point is what minimum point is what 
you will make x minus y by 3 that is equal to 0. x minus y by 3 that is equal to 0. That means x is 5 by 3. Now for y, the remaining value is your y value. That means y is minus 19 by 3. Or you can write it as minus 6, 1 by 3. Minus 6, 1 by 3 or minus 19 by 3. Anything you can write. So therefore the coordinates of minimum point is 5 by 3, comma minus 19 by 3. So these are the coordinates. Now we will find out the value of y or x. Anything we can find out. So first we will make y is equal to 0. If you make y is equal to 0, so this is 0. Therefore the value remains this. So here it will come as 3 x minus 5 by 3 whole square minus 19 by 3. That is equal to 0 now. Bring this to your right side. It will be what? 3 x minus 5 by 3 whole square. That is equal to 19 by 3. Now bring this 3 to down. It will be 3 into 3 now. So here it will come as x minus 5 by 3 whole square that is equal to 19 by 9. If x minus 5 by 3 whole square is 19 by 9, what is your x minus 5 by 3? Is equal to, we can say it's a plus minus root under 19 by 3. Bring this to this side. So here you will get what? X is equal to plus and minus root 19 by 3 plus 5 by 3. So this is your X value. Now we will find out the value of Y. For that we have to substitute this here. Uh, here. what we will get. So you in place of x if you put plus first one this value. So here what we will get 3 into y is nothing but 3 into root 19 by 3 plus 5 by 3 minus 5 by 3 whole square minus 19 by 3. Now, this and this will go out, plus and minus. So here comes root 19 by 3 whole square. That means this is equal to, we can say, 3 into uh, 19 by 9. My, and minus 19 by 3. So here you can see what 3 and 9. That means it will come as 3. So 19 by 3 minus 19 by 3 is 0. If you take the value for minus now. We have taken plus first. This is for plus first. Now we will take it as minus. This value. Minus. So if you take minus here, again what you will get? You will get minus 19 by 3 whole square. Therefore, again you will get the same value. Therefore, the y is 0 again. Therefore, we can write it as 0. So now the two coordinates are what? x is plus 19 by 3 plus minus 19 by 3 plus 5 by 2 and the y value is 0 
एंड अगेन जीरो नाउ प्लीज चेक इट दे हैव टोल्ड यू टू फाइंड आउट द रेंज देर फोर वी विल सी ओनली द वाई वैल्यूज तो यू कैन सी वाई वैल्यू इज वन इज हियर दैट इज योर कॉर्डिनेट and the another values are here zero zero and minus nineteen by three is your y value so now what is your range we can simply say range is nothing but you can see minus nineteen by three after that it increased so we can say its f x should be greater than equal to minus 19 by 3 or you can write it as minus 6 1 by 3 so this is your range